allow bad belly prevent you from admitting that this dress is nice. Hmm? You know the dress. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be a tutorial for this gorgeous piece i have on here this is what i want to call a butterfly dress you can make this as a midi dress like i've done or you can go maxi or mini if you would like this i'm going to be showing how to make the pattern how i'm going to cut stitch everything together so this is the only video you need to watch and it's very easy and beginner friendly so it's something that i did in less than three hours I think if I time myself correctly, it took me less than three hours to put this all together and I'm obsessed. Paired with this orange wig. Oh my gosh, nobody can tell me anything in this dress. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like to see how I made this dress, make sure to keep on watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, share it with your sewing community. And let's get into this video because it's, it's so good, man. It's just so good. <laughs> By the way, if you have not entered the Valentine's giveaway where I'm going to be giving away a brand new Brother LS 14 sewing machine to one lucky winner, make sure to do so. I'm going to leave instructions in the video description so you can enter the competition and possibly win the machine for yourself. The winner is going to be announced on the 14th of February. So good luck to all of you guys. With that being said, let's get into the tutorial. The thing is the butterfly silhouette is nothing new. This is something I remember seeing a lot growing up with my mom, my aunts, you know, the older women in my life, they will have this free booboo -boo gown that had the freely edges and I've seen it in long lengths, in short lengths, in all kinds of different materials. But I've also noticed a newer modern version that is done with stretch fabric like this one worn by Kylie Jenner which was made by Acne Studio. So I'm going to be working with a stretch material for this project today. This is a mustard yellow stretchy scuba jersey. It has a really nice body and I know with one layer it's not too transparent so I can wear this without needing to wear underneath wear underwear underneath and I have a total of two meters. These are the measurements I'm going to be working with. I highly recommend you work with yours or that of your client for the best outcome. Do check out the video where I show how to take your measurements if you're not sure where to start. Starting from the top edge, I'm going to be drawing a long horizontal line that is going to become my shoulder line. This I'm doing with a marker pen and my long metal ruler. And then I'm marking the vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust. And then I'm going to be marking the vertical distance from my bust to my waist and then from my waist to my hip. This varies from person to person. So please measure yourself or your client so it sits correctly on their body. Next up, I'm going in to square that across. And what that essentially means is I'm drawing a horizontal line that cuts through that point that I made earlier on. And I love the set square because it has that line in the middle that allows me to match the edge of the paper to it so the horizontal lines come out straight now along the shoulder line i'm marking four inches inwards and then my shoulder seam is going to be 3.5 inches wide and then i'm going to be dropping that by half an inch because i want it to have a slanted silhouette from the shoulder line all the way into the sleeve of this dress I'm going to grab my long metal ruler and essentially just extend that line in the slanted direction because I want it to be a long sleeve. My sleeve length is 19 inches so it's nice and long and that I'm marking from the half inch drop on the shoulder seam and then I'm drawing in the sleeve hem. This I'm drawing in this direction like so and the sleeve hem width is 4 inches for myself because I want it to feel really nice and snug around the bottom. Now I'm going to find the midway point of my sleeve length and then along that point I'm going to mark half of my around elbow measurement. Remember this fabric has stretch so whatever dimension you are marking, you either want to take away half an inch negative ease so the fabric stretches nicely across your body. Now along the bust line, I'm marking a quarter of my bust measurement and then I'm going to be connecting that to the sleeve edge so we have a sleeve bust connection happening. Next up, I'm going to the waistline and I'm marking a quarter of my waist measurement along that point like so. And then along my hip line, I'm marking a quarter of my hip measurement. I didn't take away any negative ease because I want to stitch this dress, put it on and see what it looks like. If it's too loose, I can go back in and take away any excess measurement I want. But if your fabric is super stretchy, 
I highly recommend take away at least half an inch negative E so it stretches into your body shape nicely. The next thing I'm doing in here is I'm making the full dress length. Mine is 40 inches and I'm going to square that across so it's a midi length for me. I have seen this style done as a maxi and it looks really really elegant so that's something you could explore as well. You could also have it mini length or even as a top if you don't want to commit to making it a dress. Now my sleeve hem width is 18 inches and that I'm going to connect back to the hip line so I have the entire side seam of my dress drawn in place. I'm just going to go ahead to add my grain line and rotations and this pattern piece is going to help me to stitch the actual stitch line that the dress has i think that's one really cool thing about this design is you actually don't cut out the side seam you essentially will just trace along the edge of your pattern with a chalk and that is what you are going to be stitching on so the extra fabric now makes the butterfly effects that this design has so this is my pattern all done my neckline i have kept as a straight neckline you can play around with yours as a v as a curve whatever you are cool with mine is going to be straight because that's the design i have in mind I'm going to be cutting my dress in one go and I folded my fabric in such a way that I have a fold edge on this bottom part and I've matched my pattern to that folded edge and with a chalk I'm just tracing along the edge of the pattern onto the fabric. I'm doing this on the right side of the fabric because that's what we're going to be stitching. At this point I realized I should have actually added a seam allowance to the top part of the dress but i was so lucky this fabric has stretched so if you're doing yours please add the seam allowance there you could also extend your neckline upwards so you have a little bit to hem it away but i got away with it because this fabric is a knitted fabric so it's not going to fray along the edges and it stretch so it will still fit me nicely now i've put wrong sides together and i'm going to be joining the shoulder seam so the entire top edge of the pattern leaving the neck line open so that's how you get in and out of the dress and then i'm going to go ahead to hem around all of the edges so the side the bottom give it a nice press so i know once i do the stitch that is essentially the side seam the dress is already done it's such a simple and quick design and i went back in with the pattern paper to you know trace along the side silhouette of the dress this is on the right side of the piece by the way so you need to repeat this for the left and the right side you essentially just need to flip your pattern paper and then i have joined it in such a way that i've used pins and i'm going to be stitching along the chalk line that i did this chalk rubs off easily so i'm just going to go over it with a damp cloth to rub it off this is what the dress looks like all done this literally took me hours like it's so easy so beginner friendly and it's one of those styles that depending on how you accessorize it it, act, it can actually look really elevated and give that affluent feel like serious rich anti vibes i think i would actually try this as a maxi style as well if i have an event to attend the inspiration picture was in this like nudish cream color but i decided to play around with the length and the color of my fabric choice and i love how it came out this is something you can try out if you are not you know super experienced with sewing and designing it's very very easy to make and very beginner friendly so i would love to see your recreation on social media as well so please tag me at kim dave designs and i'm actually curious to see what you guys will do your fabric choices your lens and all that good stuff until next time have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are thank you so much for watching and shout out to all of our channel members who keep this channel growing and thriving i appreciate every single one of you guys